in my channel, I thought I would give myself a round of applause because I am back, kind of, sort of, hopefully. Let's uh, not jump the gun and get ahead of ourselves or myself with my words and empty promises and all that shit. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee and I thought I would make a video and do my makeup. You know, that's what I'm here for. Well, among many other things. But I thought, you know what, it's just, it's time to stop with the excuses and claiming that I have all this shit going on. Well, I mean, I do have a lot going on in my personal life and in my business life. So, um, yeah, that'll be a whole different video. If you guys kind of, I'm just going to talk about it a little. I've just been kind of a, a little nervous to put up more personal information. Um, obviously, I'm not a drama channel. I'm never going to be. But I meant like personal as in some things that I've personally been struggling with. Um, and any of you guys that follow me on Instagram, which is Seattle MUA Renee, I'll leave a link below. But um, most of you guys know, and it's no secret or anything that I'm ashamed to talk about even publicly like this, I suffer from clinical depression and anxiety. And so I noticed the last few years have been more challenging than since I was diagnosed. But um, yeah, I thought about dedicating a whole video to that because it was a question that someone did ask me about. And I think it's important enough and you know, the way I look at this and the way I'm kind of trying to do videos is more along the lines of A, I'm, I love makeup, I'm a makeup artist and a beauty influencer and so, you know, there's that but then there's also this part of me that feels like I have more to share than that and maybe my own personal struggles either you can relate to or you can feel sorry for me. I'm just kidding, please don't. Like, I don't want, that's the last thing I want is for anyone to feel bad for me or anyone else for that matter. So, that's not at all what we're gonna be talking about today. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Um, so today, we are gonna talk about my June and summer makeup beauty favorites. So if you actually want to see what I've been loving so far this summer, then this is the video to watch. You're in for a treat, I think. I hope. I'm like a treat on a screen. So, um, anyways, uh, by the way, LA, you know, just not not anything real. Um, you know, I, I haven't actually technically really lived there, but I'm West Coast Seattle, and uh, I just don't really like the Mariners logos and stuff. So I'm I'm wearing this that my ex got me. So yeah, that's about all I got out of that relationship. <laughs> so. Let's get into while I shed like a dog, even though my dogs don't shed. Some summer, what I consider something that you probably want, at least one of these things. I would, if I didn't have them, I'd want them. But I'm me and I love them. So, at least 
stop rambling, make this the longest intro I've ever filmed in my whole entire life, and let me get to showing you some products because as it is, 6 o'clock, my stomach's grumbling and the dogs probably are grumbling, but let's get it. So, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's start off with a few more body products, I guess you would say. Everyone is always asking me my self-tanning routine or favorites, so I thought that this being summer would be a good time to just kind of mention this San Tropez bronzing mousse, and I don't have one with me. Well, I, I do have one, but I, I, you don't want to see it. I do only use the Vita Liberata Mitts, which both of these, I think Sephora has this. If not, I know Ulta does, but Sephora has Vita Liberata, which I also love, but I don't have the one that I would recommend. So I'm going with this one. It's just a really lightweight mousse and it is natural, although I am just not. I'm just gonna throw that out there and be real. I am not cruelty free, so, you know, but I'm just telling you in case that is of importance to you that this is natural. And I just love it because it, and I get the color dark, by the way. I always go really dark. This is me about natural right now. I, it hasn't been that sunny in Seattle, so yeah, that's been great. But I just love the color that this gives, and it's a really lightweight and easy. Oh my gosh, memory card issues still. I still need help with my memory card. Anyone knows a lot about memory cards? I have the sunny a5100, I need help. Anyways, so this Saint Tropez tanner, it has a more, it says that it, it adheres to your skin tone, adheres? I don't know if that's right, but you know what I mean. I have a very olive skin tone and I feel like a lot, they're getting better. But I feel like a lot of self-tanners, you don't really want to look like an Oompa Loompa. That's not the goal. So this has a more olive green kind of natural. I put a little bit on me, but I don't want just a spot of self-tanner on my arm. So yeah, thought I would mention that. And then also, I have been loving this. You probably can't tell in video, but I did spritz a little on my shoulder. This one is actually for the face, but since it's so, the sprayer is so targeted and concentrated, it really is easy to spray even just like a little bit on your collarbone. So hopefully you can see that. But this is the Patrick Ta, the face one. Uh, it just says for face. This writing is not easy to read. But I got the shade We Love Her, which is the more pinkish tone. I feel like the anything luminescent that spray that I have is more of a gold tone. So I opted for the pink tone, which is we love her and we do love her. It just has this beautiful glow and it's so easy uh, to apply. So love this, highly recommend. I don't have the shimmer the body oil but I have heard great things about that and it is on my list but I got this Anastasia shimmer body oil instead I believe it's a little bit 
cheaper, although the bottle is quite a lot smaller. So I don't know the math. You guys can do the math if you want to. I just don't want to. So I'm not going to. But I love this. I did a little demonstration on my Instagram. Sorry, oh, it's itchy. I did a little ins a little Instagram on my demo. A little demo on my Instagram the other night, but this just has this beautiful, beautiful, just insanely intense sparkle to it. So if you're not wanting to have just like the little bit of sheen or just a, a little fine sparkle, then I recommend this. It is definitely very, very, very sparkly. So let's see if I can do another little. So it, oh shit, I shouldn't have sprayed it right on the products, but it just has this beautiful shimmer to it and at first it goes on a little bit chunky but you can easily blend it and see just how glittery that is I love it perfect for legs for the summertime if you just want your legs to be seen by outer space and I mean I wouldn't so, love this. It has like a nice, light coconut smell. It is pretty oily based, so I would definitely, and it does obviously transfer, as you can see. So, I would recommend putting that on last and maybe just saving it for like your arms and legs or your chest or something like that. It's definitely going to come off on clothes, so just keep that in mind when you're getting dressed and, and spraying it. So, this is awesome. <laughs> One of those people that just does things and doesn't really think them through. Anyways, so I wanted to, I'm, I'm sure this is in probably everyone's summer or June favorites just because I believe it launched in May or around there. Uh, Rihanna, you are killing the makeup game. This Fenty bronzer and I got the shade Island Ting is just beautiful. I'm wearing it right now, although I am also wearing another luminescent bronzer and a blush and a highlighter so it's not just the bronzer I just thought I would clear the air there but this bronzer it's just gorgeous I feel like most of the bronzers that I have and by the way benefit hula you guys know if you follow me on Instagram you know I am the hula just love her. I'm hula obsessed and I can't get enough but this is really stealing my heart too. I just love the shade. I love how buttery and smooth it is. It just gives this beautiful but yet light and it's matte but I, I feel like it has this secret glow to it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Sometimes I don't make any sense, so whatever. But I just love this. It's the perfect shade of not too warm. Like I love MAC, Give Me Sun, but that, I almost have to have a tan to wear it because otherwise it, it does end up looking kind of orange but this is just it's not too ashy to where it's a contour shade and it's not too warm to where it looks like an Oompa Loompa shade so yes Island Ting is my thing and speaking of MAC and blushes 
I wanted to quickly show you guys. This is one of the MAC Mineralize blushes. So it has kind of a sheen to it. It's not one of their regular powder blushes. It's a mineralized one. And so that also means that it's harder to open. I love MAC, but I mean, you just like make these a little easier to open really help me out <laughs> oh my god um like I just had it open I should have left it open okay well you know what this is the shade <laughs> hey coral hay and if I ever get this off I just actually don't have nails right now these are my natural nails and I'm trying I know if I really work at this I will definitely break a nail okay oh my gosh okay so I am sure glad that all that work did not go to waste this is hay coral hay and it just has this beautiful soft kind of sheen almost finish and for summer this just it just screams summer it actually screams hey coral hey but also summer and I love it these are really really lightweight I wanted to quickly mention this is not a new product or anything but it definitely is perfect for summer. The Benefit Professional, and this is the Pearl Primer. So it adds just a little bit of sheen. It's not sparkly like, you know, the body oil or a highlighter or anything like that. But it just gives this nice, like, lit from within type of sparkle shine sheen and what I love about it is that you know it's the regular profession professional formula Gosh, say that three times fast but it just has a little bit of sheen to it so it does you can just wear it on its own to kind of you know blend your pores out a little give you more of a flawless face if you don't feel like wearing a foundation. Um, I also, I don't have it here with me, but it's in my foundation favorites, the Benefit Hello Happy. If you were to just use this and then the Hello Happy foundation, the one that has just a little squeeze bottle, and which has SPF in it too, just, you could just do that and go to the beach and be just fine. I mean, you're going to be fine at the beach no matter what you're doing or what you're wearing. But this, I just love it. It has that silicone, you know, primer. But as you can see, it just it blends and blurs your pores and then just adds a little hint of sheen to your skin, whether you're wearing it on its own or under a foundation. I just, I think it's perfect for summer and I think you need it. The Uma, Oma, I think it's Oma Beauty. I'm sure someone's gonna correct me if I'm wrong because people love to do that. But this foundation, I was super super a excited for the shade range because they catered to kind of some skin tones that weren't as uh what's the word i'm looking for like commercialized i guess you should say so they have some really fair shades. They have, I think, six or nine olive shades, and then they have some really deep shades within their range. So if you're someone that has a little bit of a different skin tone, 
Like me, I'm I'm half alien, so I have a very olive skin tone. You can tell by the veins on my arms. And this, I have this, I think it's the shade, it says Honey Honey T1N. So this is just one of the olive natural shades and it just, it matches my skin tone, I think better than probably anything I have on its own. I usually have to combine a few foundations and that's typically why I tend to just use the same thing because once I find something that A works well for my skin tone and B gives me the coverage that I want, it's really, really, really hard to step outside of my little foundation bubble. But this foundation is just beautiful. I'd say it has a medium but easily, easily buildable formula. I am wearing it today and I did a little kind of mini review, first impression of it on my Instagram when I got it and even my mom was like, wow, that foundation looks A, really good on you, and B, matches you really well. Thanks, Mom. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking this brand out. I have had my eyes on the concealer. Uh, Samantha Ravindal, she raved about the concealer, so that is on my list to try next. Why do I never have a fucking Kleenex? Never. I mean, I have some, but not with me. I saw one. It's actually toilet paper. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, so, yes, this is definitely worth checking out. Ulta does carry it, so go there, look online, or I'm about an NC3035 in MAC for the shade T1N, if that helps you at all. And then I want to quickly mention this Huda Neon Obsessions palette. I am wearing it right now. I don't know why I said that with a weird accent. This is this one. I Okay, the rest of this video is going to be done kind of odd, so not only do I keep having memory card problems, but now my camera died. So I just have a few things to mention really quick, and I'm just going to throw this in at the end, and hopefully I can get my shit together for the next video. Chloe's barking. That'd be weird. Uh, so, this Urban Decay Brow Endowed, it has a primer on one end and then it has the color on the other. And this just works amazing for your brows and I definitely recommend this one, especially for summer. It has the smallest, most precise little brush and so I feel like for a brow gel it is so easy to obviously not right here but if you are using it on your brows it just adheres really well and stays on really well and I feel like for summer that is a necessity, and I love the fact that it has the primer on one end and then the tinted brow gel on the other. By the way, this is the shade Neutral Nana, just kind of a neutral medium brown shade. So, love that. And then I wanted to quickly mention this Dior Lip Tattoo Longwear Color Tint. You know, sometimes we don't want to be wearing our 
lipstick or our, you know, liquid lipstick, but we just don't want our lips to look completely flat. This is just a really beautiful pink and I can even just apply it with my fingers and it just has this beautiful pink tint to where it just looks good for summer. It looks, it's like the perfect pink to go with a tan. So I love that. It does stay on forever, but it doesn't, you can also easily take it off. It doesn't really stain your lips that much. So definitely recommend checking this out if you want to do a little splurge on something for your lips for the summer. And then this Kiehl's Love Oil for Lips. This stuff is amazing. I think they have like five or six shades, whether you want like a coral shade or a pink shade, or I think they even have like a lilac purple one. But this is the shade Botanical Blush, and it just, it's an oil. So it's more hydrating, and again, this is another pink shade, but a very sheer pink, not as concentrated as the Dior, but it just is very hydrating and nourishing, and it's oily, but it doesn't feel like you put vegetable oil or coconut oil or something even on your lips. It just hydrates really well and it smells really good too. It has this kind of like a light, perfumey, I don't even know how to describe it. Just get it, okay? Just deal with it. Go get it. You'll love it. And you'll thank me later. Glow Infusing Lip Treatment. So yeah, it's a little messy if you don't clean things up well or if you're me and you just live in a messy world. So that is everything. Now that my hand has literally everything on it. And check out my Instagram. And also, if you stay until the end, here is where you get a treat. I am going to be putting up a new giveaway. Yes, it's July already. So. I'm going to be putting up a new massive giveaway. Probably I'll do a few winners as usual and pick one from here and one from Instagram. So make sure you're following me on both Instagram and subscribe to this channel. I'm probably going to not put all of this in here, but just to do a little sneak peek. This is just stuff I have saved for the next giveaway, even though I just had one like two weeks ago. So I hope you guys have a really great night. I love you. I'm so sorry that this is so disorganized this time. I promise you we're going to get better together. I love you.